Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for taking the time to be here as always. So, the last couple days I have been working on the car and let me show you what I have been doing. So I've been working on getting some of the side trim put back on. We have the door trim already on. We had that on before. So I have gotten the front piece on here and also the piece that runs along the back. This one I did have to move up just because we enlarged the wheel wells. So trim had to go up and the trim used to fit right in the notch there in the tail light, but seeing as how we moved it up, that doesn't fit anymore. So I may still trim that to make that look a little better. And the original fasteners on the trim were all rusted off. And so what I did to fix that, I cut some 16 gauge pieces of steel, just cut them real small. I drilled a hole through them, took a quarter inch bolt, stuck it through, welded it on the back, and then um, used the holes that were in the fender, put it on, and then simply put nuts on the back. So pretty simple there. All right, so I mentioned in the last video how we got the new box of window channel in for the windows. So let me show you what I've got there. Um, as you can imagine, parts for these uh, early 50s Dodge Cornettes are a little tough to find. Thankfully, there are a few companies that still make some stuff. So this is what I have got. Um, it is... Some of these pieces are really long pieces, so I simply trim them to length. And this is the channel that runs around the window. It is... Um, a metal channel with rubber coating and then it has a little felt sweeper material on the inside and I've already started on the passenger side window this is the front quarter glass I've got this first piece in I had to pop rivet it back into place and so that is the channel that seals around the window And then here is the piece that, if I can show you here, basically runs around like that. And then it runs along right in through here, up around the top and stops about right in here. And then as the window goes up and down, it seals in that channel. So hopefully once we get this new seal, these new seals in, um, hopefully that'll eliminate at least most of our wind noise. Like I'd mentioned, that was kind of the number one thing that we dealt with on the trip is just a little noisy inside with those seals leaking. So I've already got started on the first window. So once I kind of figure out the process, I'll show you it on the other side. Good morning, guys. I still am in the process of waking up. I've got my coffee and back to work on the car. Last night I finally got the uh, first window finished up so I will show you that now. All right it's going to be a little bit hard to see but I've got the new channel across the uh, bottom there up the side here and then the piece that runs along the top and then down through the door. Um, it was definitely a pain trying to figure out the process of once I had the new channel in trying to get the glass back in um, but I think I've got the process figured out now so that I will now show you the process on the other side. I have to make sure to be extra careful because I managed to get just a little bit of a crack. It's kind of in between but got a crack in the glass so I have to be extra careful on that. So um, let's get started on the other side now. All right so step one is to get this panel removed. We have some Phillips screws along the perimeter that we're going to get pulled off and then we are going to get the door handle pulled off. Thank you. 
All right, for these handles, what you have to do, there is a little pin that holds them on. So you have to push this back, then press with something thin, then a little pin comes out, and then this stuff just slides out like that. All right, oh, forgot one screw here. And it just comes off like that. All right, so I'm actually going to start on the outer panel here. There is a strip of, it's not an actual channel, but it is a, uh, a seal with the sweeper material on it. And the old one is held in place with metal staples. Um, so what I did on the other side and I'm gonna do for this side is simply use weather strip adhesive and simply glue these pieces or this piece on. So we're gonna get the old one pulled off here. All right, so I've got the new seal here. So we're gonna simply use the old one as a template for length. So that. Make a mark here. rid of the old piece and then what I found actually works well because there is metal in here simply take a grinder with a cutoff wheel and just cut that right off all right got my gloves got my safety glasses I'm going to straighten this stuff out the best I can. That way it doesn't want to kind of push itself away once we glue it in place. Straight-ish. And then I'm going to use pieces of painter's tape to hold it on until it dries.
All right, so we have 3M black um, weather strip adhesive. Move you guys a little closer here. All right, so we're gonna get it nice layer on here. Okay. So now we're just going to let it set up a little bit and then we're going to get it stuck on and let's get my fingers all up in it. Lovely. If you're using this stuff keep paper towels around because this stuff is very messy. All right, let's get it stuck on right about here. All right. So that's going to hold that into place. So we're gonna set this off to the side and let this dry and move on to the other pieces. All right, so now I'm going to work on getting the quarter window out. So I'm going to roll this window down. There are two screws here to be taken out. There is Think uh, one at the top and then a nut. No, typically nut. That one's gone. Typically a nut down here to pull off as well. Um, all right, it's down. Two screws at the top, not one. Two screws. And then what we have to do is push this back. Boy. So 
So that, then pull that forward. It's a little tricky to get out of here. Hey, there we go. All right, so I thought I just had, um, we might actually be able to do this without pulling the glass completely out. Um, the weather stripping runs, I'm sorry, seal channel runs here down through the door and then there's like a, I'll, I'll show you, it's a metal strip that holds that in. But we might actually be able to leave the glass connected in there, which would save time. Uh, so we're going to try that. If we can make it easier, we're definitely going to. And less chance of breaking it as well. So let's pull the screw in the side here loose. Then should be able to just let's see here. Make sure you guys can actually see. Pull this out. I may actually leave that metal strip there. there is that it has a little metal hook at the end which we will grind the pop rivets off and re pop rivet onto the new piece and then it's got another piece up here um, that we're also going to transplant over and then it uses two clips at the top which we've actually got some new clips so we're going to re I mean we're going to use the new clips for that All right, so the next piece that we are going to do is there is a piece of that sweeper material that runs along the uh, the door here. And this one is held in place by little spring clips. But the problem is, after 70 years, the clips are pretty well completely shot. On the other side, I had tried to reuse some of those and they just did not hold tight. So we're not gonna do that. So we're going to cut a new piece and then do the exact same thing that we did on the first panel, simply glue it in and then use pieces of tape to hold it in until it is dry. All right, so we got this strip put in there. So we're gonna wait for the glue to dry on that. And now we are working on the quarter window there is a channel that runs all the way along there they've got there is a rivet up here at the top and one at the bottom I don't think there was any in the middle so I'm going to get those drilled out and then we're going to re-rivet the new strip in That wasn't bad at all. There's the old channel. All right, so what I am doing now is marking where the original rivets were.
Then I'm going to take a little drill bit. We're going to drill through these. Don't breathe, that way it'll stay there. All right, so if you have not used pop rivets before, uh, they're really simple. So, you have pop rivet, and a pop rivet gun. Looks like a tiny sword that goes Right in there like that. So then we'll hold our piece, we'll stick it through the weather stripping or the the uh, channel and into the hole like that. There we go, just like that. And then squeeze the handle, squeeze some more. Just like that. Same thing at the bottom. That looks like I may have to open up my bottom hole. I got it a little bit off. Try this again. Just like that. So then we have a nice little flush rivet in there. That hopefully shouldn't interfere with anything. Can't really see see the other side, but um, same thing down there. And then what it does, it simply flares the other end and then holds it in. So that is all it takes for that piece. So now I think we are ready to throw this back in the door. All right, now we got to finagle this thing back in. Metal strip here, back in place. All right, I've almost got it back in there. It's been a bit of a struggle. I think we're figuring it out. I mean, we'll probably struggle some more, but hey.
All right, that was a little bit of a struggle, but a lot less of a struggle than the first side was. So I think doing it this way was the better way of doing it. So what I'm going to do now is, um, I think I'm gonna get these screws put back in the, screws put back in the quarter window and then I'm going to cut and get the channel that runs along the back and along the top, get those hooks transferred over. We're gonna, like I said, repop rivet those, and then we're gonna get that put in. All right, so I got the lower hook transferred over. The one in the center, I decided to leave off for the time being because I'm going to fish the weather stripping inside the door up along the edge of the glass and then up around the top. And I was afraid if I had the hook in the center that it I may not be able to fit it up through that channel. Um, I assume there is a proper way of doing that, but I don't know what it is. So this is how we're gonna do it. All right, so I got that window finished up. A little hard to tell on camera, but yep. We were able to fish the weather stripping or the channel up along the side, up along the top. So we got that done and reassembled. And then in the meantime, I got this window done as well. Um, it was almost exactly the same process few very minor differences, um, but I got that done. Was not too bad at all to do. So now I just have the one more window to do, but you guys have already seen the process. So I am not going to, I'm not going to bore you with that. So one more window to do and then we are done. Um, so what I am now working on is um, this door a little more. <laughs> The um, window switches here have just been laying in here and um, I couldn't really figure out a way to mount these where I liked them. So what I finally did was took the stock controls, cut it down to where is just this piece remaining, which is just the window switches, and then being able to lock and unlock um, the windows themselves, being able to roll them down. So I cut this down I marked and cut a hole in the door here. So um, let me put you on the tripod and then we're going to get the switches and everything assembled in here. All right, so this just fits in just like this. I trimmed it so it's pretty tight fit because I don't want it coming out. So the switches. fit in from the back like that. So it's actually really simple. Um, we are also currently working on the door panel right here. 
Um, we have vinyl to recover them. So I'm still working on the design of these. Um, it's not going to be anything too fancy just because I haven't done it before. So it's a first time for me. So um, we're using some quarter inch plywood. I'm not sure if this is going to be final or not. We'll have to see. Um, I ordered some foam and spray adhesive as well. So that'll maybe probably be one of the kind of next projects to do. So definitely some more work to do on that. But at least now um, the controls are fixed here so they're not flopping around. I'll do the same thing on the passenger side. So yeah. So that's probably all I'm going to get done in this video. I know doing the uh, window seals, not really the most exciting thing ever. Uh, it's not cool, exciting new parts really, but at the same time, it's these little things that will hopefully add up to make a better driving experience with the car, make it quieter is the goal. So, yep, that's going to be it. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. Until the next video.